Talking about censorship sure isn't easy, even from a video game standpoint. Even if we boil it down to its most fundamental level, it's not just a matter of simply abiding by consistent age rating systems. In fact, the term consistent age rating systems is an oxymoron in itself. Every country seems to have different opinions on what constitutes a suitable video game, and it's not even as straightforward as no violence or no naughty relations with irresistible blue aliens. Some censorship demands are downright baffling, and that's before we start dancing around the whole self-expression and free speech side of things. I thought this was America! But if we're going to consider whether our beloved video games, which many consider to be a form of art, should actually be censored at all, we really need to take a look at what society currently deems to be worthy of such frantic suppression. So, without further ado, I'm Ben from Triple Jump, and here are 10 video games censored around the world. Number 10. Indigo Prophecy or Fahrenheit Anyone even vaguely familiar with David Cage's work knows that he's pretty fond of those old interactive cutscenes. Whether you find them immersive or just plain tedious, it's certainly an interesting way of storytelling via an interactive medium. Some of them might be downright boring, but others really give the player a tangible connection to the action on screen, with one of the most notable examples being the scene where Ethan cuts off his finger in heavy rain. But it seems like North America drew the line for interactive storytelling when it came down to the literal on-screen action in Fahrenheit, or Indigo Prophecy if you really want to be serious about this, and ended up removing them entirely in order to muster a scandalous mature rating for the bizarre title. Granted, the final saucy encounter was not completely cut due to its relevance to the story, but since Sony and Microsoft refused to have an adult-rated game on their respective consoles, Carla's nipples were removed from any of the remaining footage lest an adult gamer of sound mind be rendered utterly distraught by a mere glimpse of forbidden areola. Number 9. Wolfenstein 2 – The New Colossus yeah, you're probably not surprised by this one. Even if you've never played a Wolfenstein title, you can likely guess why it wasn't able to leisurely pass through Germany's censorship review. The series is set in an alternate timeline wherein the Nazis actually won the Second World War, after all. Unsurprisingly, it turns out that Germany has a pretty strict policy on this type of thing in their media, so there's no surprise that the infamous antagonist of the Wolfenstein series caused a few issues before release. Developer Machine Games and publisher Bethesda had to pull the disappearing moustache trick way before Justice League made it cool. Well, uncool in that case. Yes, if you get your hands on a German copy of the New Colossus, you'll instead encounter a moustacheless villain whom others refer to as Mein Heiler or Mein Kanzler instead of the far more obvious Mein Führer. They also removed all swastika imagery, even though this type of visual alteration isn't really fooling anyone. The references and implications are still completely transparent, irrespective of Germany's meticulous standards of censorship. Number 8. Earthbound or Mother 2 Very little information has actually been given from Nintendo of America for the reasons as to why many of Earthbound's changes were made for its 1995 American release, but we can safely assume that Nintendo of America intended for the game to be super kid-friendly, especially given that it was originally rated as K.A. This theory holds up when we consider that all bars were changed to cafes and the vast majority of drugstores became general shops. Any mentions of alcohol were swapped for references to coffee, the more acceptable drug of choice, hospital logos were altered to avoid similarity to the American Red Cross, and a cola truck with a suspiciously familiar brand design experienced a sudden and mysterious makeover. However, the most notable cultural difference was highlighted in the scene wherein Ness appears naked in Magicant. This is actually a common trope in Japan to depict a character as nude when in a metaphysical location, but the notion didn't sit well with Nintendo of America, who promptly clothed Ness in a set of snazzy PJs instead. Oh, and the subtitle was changed from Gygus Strikes Back to War Against Gygus, but we're assured by our lawyers that it had nothing to do with some unknown movie about wars in space, and Lucasfilms are definitely not holding a gun to my head as I say this. Oh god. Number 7. Final Fantasy IV Once again, we have another instance of a North American version varying from the original Japanese release. It seems like hell hath no fury like a censorship board scorned, however, because this time the righteous hammer of holy justice was brought down against anything even remotely relating to Christianity. 
Actually, we probably can't even refer to it as the metaphorical holy hammer of justice at all because the classic Final Fantasy spell holy was actually changed for the US release in addition to Rosa's pray command when in battle. Final Fantasy fans are probably about to unleash Mega Flare down in the comments right now because the White Mage skill set is synonymous with the iconic healers of the beloved series. Most installments include spells called Holy and Death and even swathe their mages in priestess-like robes, so it's just as much of a Final Fantasy staple as chocobos and dudes named Sid. As if these changes weren't conservative enough, dancers' bikinis were also replaced for leotards because heaven forbid we see even two blurry pixels of belly. Oh, and don't even try looking for the secret naughty magazine within the programmer's room feature either as it was removed for that very reason. Shame on you. Give me four hail roses and cast Isuna on your filthy mind. Number 6. Left for Dead 2. Australia has quite the reputation for outright banning video games from entering the country, so it's probably a miracle that Left 4 Dead 2 managed to get released there at all. Although an uncensored release was made available much later, the game originally received an MA15+, which was the highest possible at the time in Australia, even after the content was severely cleansed of unnecessary violence. Yeah, definitely wouldn't want any violence or gore in my zombie games, so thanks for that. The censored version, released in Germany and Australia, no longer contained images of decapitation, dismemberment, wound detail, or piles of bodies, which to be honest is usually part and parcel of the whole zombie genre. Now that I think about it, Lollipop Chainsaw could be seen as a commentary on this time of censorship for horror video games. Blood and gratuitous horror is instead swapped for a piñata explosion of bubblegum aesthetic. Left 4 Dead 2 wasn't intended for kids, but it was still neutered as if it was being advertised to a more innocent audience. Honestly, I'm surprised the Australian censorship board didn't swap blood splatter for Werther's originals and chainsaws for pool noodles. Number 5. Mortal Kombat vs DC Universe While the European version remained untouched, the North American version of Mortal Kombat vs DC Universe actually edited a few of the fatalities in order to comply with its age rating system. In order to secure a teen rating, characters such as the Joker and Deathstroke had their fatalities cut short to prevent any of the gun-related violence from being shown on screen. Senior producer Hans Lowe explained that the teen rating implies that the audience is 13 and above, whereas the European rating had equivalent 15 and 16 plus ratings, so it provided a bit more leeway when addressing the violent content. It may be a small detail, but it's a critical example of how censorship tries to draw the line between fantasy violence, such as pulling a spine out of a ninja's back, and realistic references to senseless gun crime. However, in a universe as insane and savage as the Mortal Kombat series, can we really justify one form of slaughter over another? Perhaps we should decide who's right via trial by combat. Uh, on second thoughts, never mind. Number 4. Crash Bandicoot 2 – Cortex Strikes Back a few examples of censorship on this list might seem a bit laughable or superfluous, but in this instance it was used as a way of dealing with a horrifying tragedy that haunted Japan during the release of Crash Bandicoot 2. Andy Gavin, one of the co-creators of Crash Bandicoot, noted that a very specific death animation wherein Crash would be crushed down until only his feet and head remained had to be removed from the Japanese version due to the uncanny resemblance to the victims left behind by a serial killer loose in Japan at that very time. For any other player, Crash's death animation seemed goofy and fun, so it's hard to imagine them reminding us of something truly horrifying. However, for Japanese audiences, it simply rang a little too close to home. We don't want to make jokes about this one, guys. It may seem like a tiny change that could have gone unnoticed, but it reflected too many feelings of cultural unease and general unrest. Out of respect for their Japanese audiences, Naughty Dog went the extra mile to ensure that their game could be enjoyed by all players. Number 3. Pokemon I swear it's easier to fill an international Pokedex than it is to note all of the regional censoring that has occurred throughout the Pokemon franchise, and it's not just simple adjustments for references that may not be understood outside of Japan or whatnot. Nope, these ones are bonkers. Take Pokemon Stadium, for instance. Japanese players were uh, treated to a specific animation upon summoning Nidoqueen into battle, wherein she would cheekily cup and jostle her suggestive breastplates. Okay, F fair enough, that might be a little risque, but the changes to Gold and Silver's apparently salacious sprites are just laughable. 
Female swimmers no longer have a playful, winking expression, and multiple hemlines have been lengthened lest the player see pixels of above-the-knee action upon challenging a lass to battle. Oh, mercy me. Other changes included removing the cigar from the fisherman sprites, having the sages cross their arms instead of praying, and even pilfering the medium's spirit beads. And, well, if the hemline adjustment wasn't scandalous enough, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum censored a book called Sinnoh Folk Tales, which alluded to human Pokemon marital relations. So, turns out you don't have to catch them all if you just find yourself a Machamp who knows Seismic Toss, Body Slam, and even Double Team if you're the adventurous type. Number 2. Final Fight it's clear that the EU version of Final Fight tried so hard to save the souls of hapless young gamers. The EU censorship board basically took a holy flamethrower to anything remotely sacrilegious. Actually, it seems like only the Japanese arcade version and the Sega CD version are completely uncensored. Even the Japanese SNES version included the recharacterization of transgender fighters Poison and Roxy to male characters called Billy and Sid. For those of you wanting to play Final Fight on a glorious Sunday after attending church, fear not for your eternal salvation because all references to alcohol were removed. Blasphemous outbursts of Oh My God were changed to Oh My Car, and the heinously named bosses Damned and Sodom were changed to Thrasher and Katana. While the Japanese version shows a character wearing, brace yourselves, a bra, the EU variant mercifully covers her up in a red dress. Even nude statues featured in the background and environmental art were tastefully covered up, thereby making Final Fight one of the best, I mean best, uh, examples of silly censorship we've ever seen. Number 1. South Park The Stick of Truth some other entries on this list may have more examples of tedious censure, such as Pokemon's sprite variants and Wolfenstein's moustache debacle, but South Park The Stick of Truth is arguably the most popular instance in recent years. The television show was never shy of scandal, so it was unsurprising that the adjoining RPG outing would be anything less than divisive for censorship boards. In adherence to German standards at the time, all Nazi symbols were removed, but further cuts were made in the European, Middle East, African, and Australian versions versions of the game. A total of seven scenes were removed, including that unsettling abortion one and the section with all that anal probing, but Trey Parker and Matt Stone decided to include one last dig at censorship culture by including very detailed descriptions of the band scenes at the designated intervals throughout the game. In an interview with the Metro, Matt Stone noted that, "...it's not cool, it's lame, ridiculous, and stupid." we couldn't agree more. After all, the age rating is there for a reason. For a game intended for adult audiences, this type of fearful censorship seems pretty darn childish. Ah, somehow that green goo makes Ginger Hallway monitors even lamer! And there we have it. Censorship can be a bit of a sore subject, but there's certainly a lot to laugh about when we look back at some of the more ridiculous examples. Which crazy instances of video game censorship have you encountered where you live? Let's compare and contrast a few in the comments below. You can follow myself and Triple Jump on Twitter here, and while you're at it, why not support the things you enjoy by having a look at our Patreon? Finally, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Ben from Triple Jump, and thanks for watching.